Hey, everybody, it's Saturday morning, and I'm here on the radio in our studio in Columbia, South Carolina. It's right on SC. Uh, it's Labor Day weekend. Let's do this. All right, so it's Casey here on the uh, on the radio, actually on the internet right now, getting ready to do our radio show on the internet, or, um, well, in all the places. We're about to be in all the places. It's Labor Day weekend, and uh, it's not Casey and Rex this morning. In fact, we've got a special guest, Jerry Dean Pate, who you have a broadcast background, and yes. we're going to talk about that a little bit when we get on the air, but what's it like to come back into a radio studio? Well, suddenly I'm using my radio voice. <laughs> You hear that, Internet? It's the radio voice coming out of, out of Dean Pate. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. I love radio. Um, I worked most of my broadcasting career in radio. Nice. And I liked it. You can always spot somebody on television who worked in radio. Oh, yeah? Because his head's bouncing a lot. Oh, right. <laughs> Because they're not used to having to oh, hold still. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we do this behind the scenes for our patrons, and right. we give them just a little bit of extra that they don't get uh, when we're live on the air with all sure. the with all the regular with the with the rigmarole out there in the regular world. So if you're going to give one piece of advice after your journey to get this book published, all the work you did to to research it and get the story right and all that, what's the piece of advice you'd give our patrons who are all writers? Join the South Carolina Writers Association. That was a free plug, SCWA. You hear that? Okay. Join the that's, SCWA. That's number one. And just keep writing. It's, uh, thank the Lord, this thing is a process. Yes. Not a one-time event or moment of inspiration. That's 100% true. And that's, that's what writing, that's how writing works. And thank the Lord for me. It worked out that way because, anyway, I've worked a long time on creating this book that I've got. Yeah. But I got some good advice from you guys, and I realized it wasn't from one moment of uh, inspiration. I just kept going back and doing layers and adding and taking out and adding and taking out, mainly taking out. Yeah. <laughs> we'll always write that 150,000 word novel oh, first, yeah. right? And oh, then you got to yeah. scale it all the way back oh, yeah. to 90. I, got, I went to friends. <laughs> if you were, it was like a cat bringing home a gift. Okay. <laughs> please <laughs> like me. Please I, like oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had to, I wrote this tone and I took it to uh, Rachel Haney. God bless her. Uh, Rachel was a dear friend of mine. Um, she died years back, but I was handing her this, and she was like a cat owner going, "No, no, no! Don't bring this in. The please house. don't make me." Yeah, All right, uh, we're gonna wrap up here behind the scenes. I'm glad you're here. I'm this is gonna be a lot of fun. We're going on the air here in just a few minutes. Go find us on makethepointradio.com. You can also listen live here in Columbia, South Carolina, at 100.7 The Point or 1440 AM, 1470, sorry, 1470 AM. Um, we're glad to be doing the show every Saturday. This is just what we do. Uh, we're on the air. Bye. <laughs>